Hey peeps, how's it going? Right, hope you're well wherever you are. Uh, today we're looking at a video about a mechanic who was caught on a woman's dash cam, dash cam, dash cam, now I'm stuck, <laughs> dash cam, okay? Uh, after uh, apparently uh, putting it through the, I don't know, the AA or whatever they've got over in Australia. This is a Australian current affairs, I've never heard of a current affairs. Uh, let's have a look. When Megan dropped her beloved little car at the mechanic, she thought it was in safe hands. Little did she know her service involved fanging around the streets and a Macca's drive through Luckily for Megan, it was all caught on her dash cam. Uh, everyone, everyone's got a dash cam. Everyone's got a camera now. You better be careful. It's a disrespect to... The vehicle in okay, my wait, wait. So he's driving the car right now, and he's actually saying to who he's actually seems to be in the car. Who's in the, in the car with him? More interestingly, we can't eat in this car because it's not ours. All right. Is he talking to his son or his daughter or his child in the car? Self, you know, it's not yours to just play around and have fun with. You know, you've got no reason to even be doing that on a test drive. Is this what you do to all your clients' cars? Like no, you just take them all. as your own and not there's not even all. a point where you say to your child, oh, it's not ours, so just be careful. So Great. you know what you're doing is wrong. No. This guy, honestly, by, by looking at his body language, and I'm not an expert, by the way, sorry, but it, he doesn't appear to be faced. Like he, he doesn't think that he's actually done anything wrong because if he's a mechanic... Well, if he's fixed the problem, hopefully, you have to take it for a test drive to see if it's fixed the problem. Or is it... Okay, let's let's keep... This is a story about love and betrayal. Oh, love and betrayal. Oh, golly. Current affairs. Oh, they make things so dramatic, don't they? Just add the music. But for 21-year-old Megan Bolton, this isn't an issue with a boy. It's about her car. The Ford Focus RS Limited Edition. Oh my goodness, did they sponsor this video? Her pride and joy. So she claims when she discovered her mechanic had taken it for multiple joy rides, she was heartbroken. Oh, I was, I was crying for days. I was crying for days. Like, that is my pride and joy, and he just absolutely mistreated it. Megan. Okay. I lo okay, we have to, I guess, keep watching it to find out what exactly, how he mistreated it. I mean, it looks pretty immaculate to me. What did he actually do? Rip up the seats, leave some crumbs from the hamburger of Macca's on the seat. Alton loves cars, but none more so than her own. I worked really hard for it. I, it's, I've always wanted a car like this before, and when it came up, it was the first thing I wanted. I'd do everything for it. I, I barely drive it. I garage. I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm try trying to move in. I was just like things are going through my head, like the surprise joy, and all it takes uh, is someone, you know, just walking by or opening their door in a car park, and bang, there's. A, she's trying to clean it. I just look after it. I spent all my spare money on it. I get it. The 21 I understand. year old even took out a loan to afford mm. the limited edition ride. So when something went wrong, she didn't hesitate to take it to her local mechanics. It was dropped there um, to have a temperature sensor fixed. Um, he right. was told that the part wasn't going to be coming in for quite some days. I went there on the Friday after it being dropped there on the Monday and was told the part wasn't still in and it'll be in on the following Monday. So I asked him if it was OK for me to leave it there over the weekend. What is that up there? Sydney man erects monster privacy wall during lockdown. Oh, that was just something that popped up on the top right. Is that what YouTube does nowadays? Oh. Um, he said that that was fine, but I shouldn't be taking it home because it was going to break down again. It kept overheating. So when she picked it up the following Monday and checked the dash cam history, she was horrified. He took it home. Okay, um, let's, let's find out exactly what he's done. He left it parked in his driveway overnight, which is something I don't even do. Um, he okay, he parked... through a McDonald's drive through with his kid in the car. Um, he went right. to a 7-Eleven. But that's not all. In a 60 zone, the dash cam had a travelling at 71 kilometres per hour. Oh, golly, really? Uh, this is piddly, man. Is, does, is, is there anything worse? Then on a separate occasion, it gets up to 93 kilometres okay. per hour okay. on a back street. 
Okay, on a back street. That's speeding, and you know, he, he yeah. had his kid in the car at one point. And mm, it's mm. just not okay. In anyone's car, in your own car, it's just not okay. But you know how easy it is to go over the speed limit sometimes, especially nowadays in the in these modern, well, modern modern vehicles. But sometimes you just don't realise that you're actually going 10k over. It doesn't feel like it. I'm not saying I'm not I'm not advocating you should go over the limit. There's a reason why limits are in place, but. But when we approached mechanic Ross Y hanging out of a red Ferrari at Euro what? Prestige Prestige Performance, there was apparently an explanation for everything. Because obviously she left it in your care and we've got dash cam footage of you driving it around all weekend, taking your son to McDonald's. My daughter, but yeah. But why were you taking it like and using it in your spare time? You parked it at home, not in a garage. Because it was explained that if we drove it during the day, it she had to pay the hours for the car to be driven whereas if i drove it home and then drove it back to work the next day she didn't have to pay the only phone call i had from him was stating that the part was going to be late i was never once told he needed it for an extended test drive or he needed it to take it home for the weekend she says you told her nothing about taking uh... her car for a spin. she had no idea that was happening okay do you want to see the footage i've got it right here I'm sure he knows what he did. You don't need to play the footage back. It's not like he's got, what, some kind of a, a sieve as a... As this is you taking off? A, a sieve for a brain, right? Like me. So that's a 60 zone. That's just clocked 71Ks there. So what? It happens easily. Oh, I'm sure those people right there, that car coming towards them is probably not going 60. It's probably going faster. Okay. It's pathetic. Yes. That's going by an uncalibrated GPS. That's not. Oh, there's you going. This guy's just shaking his head going, oh my God, what's the world come to? Petra McDonald's. Correct. Yep. Like I just said to you, I was on my way to work. But, mate, this yep. isn't your, like, it's not your car. But like I said, we've got to prove it a drive. This isn't a test home. drive. Yep. 93 Ks. Yeah, he's test driving it. That's, all, that's that almost double the speed driving. limit. Is that even me driving? I don't know, you tell me. I don't believe so. I don't know. I'm not the only person here. There's five of us So here. you're all taking it for a spin? No. So you're not just taking it for a joyride because it's a cool car? Definitely not. Have you seen the cars that we work on here? Well, it could cl be classified as a joyride because it's a pretty cool car and at points it's you were speeding. Ford it's a cool... Focus. Exactly. Can you see what I'm currently working on? <laughs> No better thing to do than to chase this poor guy up and make a pathetic five minutes new story out of it. Okay, let's finish it. This guy's reaction just sums it up beautifully. Like, what's the issue? Oh, maybe, maybe I'm missing something here. Oh, dear. <laughs> let's keep watching it. Okay. A wheel come Ferraris, Porsches, Lamborghinis. I thought I trusted him. I really did. And oh, I felt absolutely betrayed, you know, to... Oh, betrayed? Come on now. ...in the trust of someone and a company and for him to go and make it his own and drive it the way he did. Like I said, I, I don't even drive it like that. Oh, bollocks. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Unfortunately, I don't have the shot of her saying it because if there was a shot of her actually saying that, you can pick up cues on facial expressions, body language. I'm fairly good with that. Not an expert, but good. She's lying. She's taken that thing for, probably wasn't even aware herself that she's gone over the speed limit half of the time when she's driving that. And it's a fault. What is what's so great about it? No, I can understand. She, it's her. You know, she always wanted this car. Um, pride and joy. Everyone's got something that they really love i it's not cars for me it's what have i got that i really love maybe my video camera yeah and i took it to the to the repair shop and then suddenly i found out that they had had used it to make their own home movie uh shock horror and didn't delete the footage would i feel violated not really I'd probably clean the camera though, you know, just to make sure that... At the end of the day, this is a story of he said, she said. Exactly. 
And looking at those two faces, who you, who are you going to believe more? This guy on the left or her? Hmm. <laughs> but one thing's for sure, the dash cam doesn't lie. Doesn't lie. Oh, yes, it doesn't. Would you like to apologise for what, what's transpired? Probably not. I mean, I'd like she's to obviously that shocked. There's been a misunderstanding. I'd... Like I said to you, we take pride in wanting to do the right thing here. That's it. Nice. Thank you for that video, whoever uploaded it. Channel 9, what is it? A Current Affair. Oh my goodness, they need to... They need to up their game as far as stories. This is pathetic. Anyway. Right, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.